right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. I thought we would have a little bit of an update uh, on the RWB build, and as you probably saw, we bought another project car. So um, the update is with the variant and COVID and everything else, Nakai still uh, really is not giving us any um, transparency on when he may or may not be leaving Japan to do um, builds. So that's a little bit disheartening I guess but I want him to be safe I want everybody to be safe uh, so I'm a pretty patient person um, but because of that uh, I decided what I wanted to do is buy a, a project car like something I could turn some wrenches on and enjoy uh, alongside the Porsche just so that I don't get going too quickly on the Porsche uh, I'm gonna take my time do things right uh, as you know, right now, the car is in paint anyway, so we've got a little bit of time. Um, anyway, so I decided that I wanted something Japanese, something JDM, but like a true JDM. This is a 1996 Land Cruiser Prado. Uh, it's a four cylinder, it's a turbo, it's a diesel. Um, but this is not the car that I bought. Uh, the car I bought is actually silver. All right, so I'm sorry that that was not the uh, vehicle. I know there are a lot of Land Cruiser Prado fans out there. silver uh, and maybe something with a little bit more of like an off-road pedigree something uh, known for its ability to really just kill it in the dirt um, and so started looking a little bit more and I found the right car but this is not it what we wanted to do was get something that had a little bit of like a, something a little bit more fun and this is it and this is my 1994 Toyota Celica GT4 imported from Japan. All right, so I also need to thank Josh, Mr. DT Auto himself. Thank you, thank uh, you. For helping me. You're very I, welcome. I think I literally transferred money on this car and the car was here like five minutes later from, from Texas. I don't know how that works. <laughs> it seems impossible to me. But it happened. I've never it's had a car. You know. It's who you know. It's not what you know. It's who you know, right? <laughs> yeah. I've never had a car ship this fast, to be honest. Like any car ever from anywhere. So uh, in Texas, that's not close. No. It, no. I looked at flying out to drive it back, and it was like 23 hours without stopping. Ooh. So. Yeah. No, this was way easier. Yeah. Way, way easier. All right. So, uh, Josh, let's check it out. Let's see. Let's see what you bought me. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, actually, when it showed up, I was so stoked because... I don't know if I've ever seen one really? in real life. I don't know if I've ever seen one. I don't know, to be honest, I don't know a much about it. Why don't you kind of fill me in a little bit? Super, super clean, low miles, like looks awesome. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, so it's, um, this is a 94 Celica GT4. These are homologation cars. Uh, what that means is for them to race these in WRC, they had to sell a certain number of them. Okay, got it. Um, these ones, what makes them different from like a USDM uh, Celica yeah. is everything, pretty much. I mean, I think the headlights might be the same and maybe like some of the glass. So is this, is this like an insert piece? So these risers came on the WRC versions. Okay. Uh, typically, you would buy it. The normal ones, this wing is down on the deck. Right. This riser comes from the factory on the WRC version. Yeah, that's sick. Um, so you that... It's all-wheel drive, right? It's all-wheel drive. Oh, it's God. turboed. It looks like it's actually got Project Mew uh, brake pads, which means these could be endless, cal uh, endless rotors, Japanese part stuff. 
Yeah, right hand drive. It's got the 3S GTE, which is the turbo motor out of the um, MR2s. Oh, okay. So those are pretty actually crazy. I think that you can build them up to like four or 500 horsepower. Um, yeah, it's kind of a, a silent sleeper. So again, I'm extremely stoked on this. I really yeah, am stoked. Thank you so much, Josh, for helping me get this here. Hey, I'm glad I can help you out. Had I done it any other way, it would still be in Texas, I'm sure. So thank you. Jesse or whatever they want to call him. He's got the, the pants so he can blend in. Uh, stand in front of your car, it'll just look like your torso is hovering. <laughs> Dude, those are like the exact same color. Oh my gosh. <laughs>